What's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. Now, I get this question a lot. Should you get your CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+, Server+, or should you go for your Cisco CCNA or your Microsoft uh, CSA? And that's a great question. And I'll give you a hint. I didn't listen to the same advice I'm about to give you. And I wish I had. Now real quick, this video is sponsored by IE. They are a fantastic IT trainer. So if you're ready to get your Cisco CCNA, CSENT, or your CCMP, or you just want to learn some Python, IE has all this great training. Go in there, you can buy individual packages or get an all access pass. Keith Bogart, man, great trainer. So check them out. I'll put a link up there and a link below. They sponsor this video. I use them for my training. They are amazing, so check them out. So let me start with a little info about my story. Uh, I started studying for my CompTIA A Plus back in 2011. At this point in my career, I had zero IT experience. Like most of you guys here, I googled around, looked at forums, and tried to figure out, hey, how can I break into the IT industry? And on every forum I found, the A plus was the place to start. That's how you got your start in IT. I started studying from A plus. I watched uh, Mike Myers and his training course. That was great. Let me introduce you to my little friend, the man in the box. Now at this point, I didn't know I wanted to be a network engineer. I just wanted to get started. I needed a career. Now here's the funny part. I actually got my first IT job without my A+. It was as a Staples Easy Tech. You, I think they're still around. It's kind of like off-brand Geek Squad. And you know what? I also got my second IT job without an A+, certification. Now, during this time, again, I was still studying, well, studying for my A+, certification. I just I hadn't finished it yet. Now, that second job was as a junior help desk tech. I mean, I was at the bottom rung, the very bottom, which is was fine. It actually was fantastic for me in, at that stage in my career. So when I got the second job, I thought, you know what? Let's finish up the A+. So I would actually come in before my shift started. Uh, it's kind of the best time to get some good study time in without interruptions. And I would sit there, pop open my A+, book, and I would study. Now, again, Another tidbit of information, I highly recommend you doing this. Why? Because when you're there early, first of all, you're there early, so that's like extra points for you. Second, management and higher level IT staff will see what you're doing. They'll see that, hey, that guy, he's a, he's a hustler. He's, he cares about his career. He wants to move up. So the next chance or the next opportunity that opens up for a position uh, on a higher tier or if you're, uh, if you're wanting to become a network engineer or a system admin, who are they gonna think of? They're gonna think of you, right? And most companies, especially the company I'm at and the companies I've been at, they, they love to promote from within. They prefer it that way. So anyways, the uh, network engineer there at the time, he saw that I was studying for my A+, and he goes, hey, why are you studying for that? Why are you doing that? And I was kind of taken aback. I mean, why wouldn't I study for my A+. It's a great step for my career. And that's what I told him. I said, hey, I'm, I'm trying to move up in my career. I'm trying to better myself. He said, do you know what position an A plus certification will get you? It'll get you a help desk position. You already have that. So why are you trying to get a cert designed to get you a job you already have? And you know what? That was a great question. So I said, okay, what should I do? And he advised that I should skip the A+. I should skip CompTIA and dive right into Cisco. Go right into my CSENT, my ICND1, half of the CCNA. And you know what I did? I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't listen to him at all. I wish I had. Instead, I thought, you know what? I, I've got it all figured out. You know, like anyone who doesn't know anything, I thought I knew everything. I kept studying for my A+, and I got it. I got my A+. I was so excited. And you know what happened to my career? You know what happened to me at that company? Once I got my A+, nothing. Nothing happened. Why? Because I was already on the help desk. And that cert was designed to help me get there, but I was already there. Pointless. Oh, I wish I would have listened to his advice. So now, what does that mean for you? What should you do? Should you go for your A+, should you go for your Network+, plus? or should you go to a vendor-specific cert? Should you go for your CCNA, your CSENT, 
or a Microsoft cert or a Linux cert or whatever. This really boils down to two very important questions. Where are you at right now? And two, where do you want to be? I'm going to go ahead and make this statement right now. If you are already on a help desk or you're in some kind of IT role where you're repairing computers or you're, you're supporting users in some kind of IT capacity, don't go for your A+. If you already have it, great. If you don't have it and you're thinking about going for it or you're in the middle of studying for it, no. Stop doing that. Go for a vendor-specific cert. Go for your Cisco certs, CSENT, CCNA. Those will benefit you so much more. Now, before I get the naysayers, I mean, yeah, the A+, it's a great certification. It really is. It teaches you a ton of stuff about computer repair, about uh, operating systems and, and, and everything. It's, it's really great, and I loved my training, and I used it. I even tried to start my own little IT support company and stuff, but that didn't work out. And it truly is a really valuable cert for people who want to become help desk guys or who want to stay on the help desk, who want to continue in computer repair, who want to start their own company. I mean, I, I know guys who've done that and that's, that's fantastic if that's what your passion is. But since you're watching this video, I'm guessing that that may not be your path. That may not be what you want. I'm thinking you want something more. Now, what if you're not on a help desk? What if you don't have any IT experience and you're starting with zero, you're starting from bottom and you have no knowledge? This is a situation where I maybe wouldn't totally discourage getting your A+. Because like I said, it is a great cert and it does teach you a ton of things. Now, why would I recommend that? Because it's very rare that you can get a network admin job or a network engineer job or a system admin job without having a little bit of computer knowledge already or without having been in a, a support role, a help desk role or a tech role or some sort of role below the, help, the uh, system admin or network admin. The, the natural progression to network engineer or, or system engineer is from a help desk role. So if you don't already have that type of experience to help you move up, it's very difficult. Not impossible, but very difficult. So whenever people ask me, hey, how do I become a network engineer? How do I become a system engineer? I always tell them the same thing. Find a company with room for growth that has the technologies you want to play with. So find a company that is a Cisco shop or a Microsoft shop. Get on their help desk. I don't care how low you start. If you're a hustler, it won't take you long to move up. But that's the progression. It's very, very hard to move into a system admin role or a network engineer role without any IT experience. It just, it's, it's very hard. If so if you have no IT experience, right now it's your job, it's your primary goal to find a job that will help you get that experience. And the A+, I think, is the best way to get that type of role because you're going to be doing desktop support and a lot of roles like this are looking for people with their A+. That's the job description they post on these job boards. That's a keyword search that's going to come up when people are trying to find your resume. So to kind of sum up that first part I just covered, the only time I can really justify getting an A+, certification, the only time I can really advise you doing this is to land your first IT job. That's it, that's it. And that's just sometimes. Now, Chuck, what do you mean? Now, what if you are already pretty computer savvy? I mean, what if you, you've you meshed computers, you're, you feel pretty confident in uh, supporting desktops, you've removed viruses, you even know a little bit about Active Directory and things like that. You've got the skill set to work on a help desk role. Anybody, can, I mean, really, if you have customer service experience, you qualify for a help desk role. So that, it's just, you need your A plus or something to get you in the door. But if you already feel confident in your abilities to troubleshoot basic computer issues, I would say go ahead and skip the CompTIA path, man. Go ahead and jump into your Cisco stuff or your, your Microsoft stuff. Now, I know you're thinking, hold up, Chuck, wait, 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 you just said that to land your first IT job, you need a A plus certification. Yeah, I do think you need that. But if you already have that knowledge and you feel confident in that role, getting your CCNA definitely trumps your A plus. So if you apply for a help desk job and you have your CCNA or you have your MCSA, you're gonna be above the candidates who just have their A+. It's a leg up. You see, when they see that you have your CCNA, they assume you already know everything else. But again, if you don't already feel comfortable in the realm of desktop support or IT in general, go ahead, dig deep, get your A+. That'll give you the groundwork, the foundation into IT, computers, everything you need to get that first desktop role. Go for it, that's what you need. So that kind of cover, you know, where are you at now? What are you doing now? Where are you at now? What's the best path for you? Now, it's, this is gonna be about where do you want to be? Now again, some people just really love the help desk. I mean, it's, it really is great if you, if you love 
uh, interacting with people, if you love talking to users, if you love solving those type of problems, if you, if you just love that people frontline interaction, that's, that's, your, that's your sweet spot. I think getting your A plus in that situation is perfect. It'll make you a better tech. It'll keep your skills relevant. Renewing that A plus every three years. I think it's a great idea. But since you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you don't want to stay on the help desk. I'm assuming that you want to become a network engineer, that you want to become a Microsoft system admin or a Linux admin or all of the above, right? But if you see yourself becoming something above a help desk uh, support role or IT support technician, skip CompTIA. If you don't already have it, skip it. A, a vendor specific cert will be way more valuable to you than a CompTIA cert will be. Now, don't get me wrong, I love CompTIA. I, I got the A plus back in the day, it's expired now. I currently hold a security plus, great cert, but I would never recommend this to someone that is wanting to really advance their career and get the most bang for their buck. Now, a lot of people think that you have to get these like A plus certs to be able to qualify or have enough knowledge to tackle the, C uh, the Cisco search or the Microsoft search. That's not true, I mean, it really isn't. The entry level Cisco and Microsoft certs, they're designed for you. They're designed for new techs who are trying to break into the industry. If you're wanting to get your CSENT, it's, it's Cisco certified entry level network technician. It's designed for you. Do not be afraid to jump into that because you can learn it, you can do it. They give you the groundwork and the framework to start. Basically, there, there are no prereqs for this. And again, I can't emphasize this enough they are way more valuable than the A+. Jobs, if they see that you have a CCNA, if they see that you have a Microsoft cert, man, you're gonna be put to the top of the resume pile, guaranteed. And if you're currently working in a desktop support role, if they know you have your CCNA or you're working towards it, that's gonna open up doors for you. I was actually promoted to junior network admin just because they knew I was working on my CCNA. Just because they knew that. Now you may be thinking, oh, hold up Chuck, what about Network Plus? What about Server Plus? Hey, you know what, those are great certs. And they teach you some great things about networking. They cover the, the, the basics. And they cover server stuff as well. But you know what also does that? Cisco certs. What else? Microsoft certs. These things already do that for you. Skip the Network Plus. Skip the Server Plus. Vendor neutral certs, while great in their own right, because you get a good overview, and we can we can debate that all day long. But for me, it really comes down to one thing. What's the most valuable thing for me? What's going to advance my career the most? Do you have a finite amount of time? Should you spend your time studying for a cert that may get you somewhere? Or studying for a cert that I know got me somewhere and I know will get you somewhere? And when you think about it, it just makes sense. Like a Cisco cert, like the CSENT. They cover everything you'll learn in the Network Plus. They give you the network foundations, the basics of a network and, and what the, all, the, all, the, all the elements involved. But at the same time, they give you the hands-on experience and knowledge to work with Cisco equipment. And guess what? Cisco is a network leader. I mean, they, you'll be, you'll be hard-pressed to find a company that's not using Cisco. There are others, but we won't talk about them. And the same thing goes with Microsoft, right? Most people, most companies use Microsoft. So getting a Microsoft cert, they'll cover all the basics of servers with you, and you'll be learning how to use a Microsoft server, which is more, which more than likely you're going to be using at the company. So the way I see it, entry level certs for Microsoft and Cisco, they're gonna give you the same exact thing as CompTIA certs, but on top of that, you're gonna learn how to use their vendor specific stuff, which will give you a leg up because they're the leaders in the IT industry. Just, it's just a fact. Not to mention they are way more valuable on a resume. They just are. Now, I know this will probably discourage some of you who are already studying for their A+, or maybe you just got your A+, and you're really excited about that. Don't be discouraged. If you're still, if you're like three quarters of the way through studying for your A+, finish it up. It's not gonna hurt you. It's a great asset for you. And if you just got your A+, again, it's, it's awesome. It's a great asset for you. But this, the point of this video is for those who are trying to decide between a Cisco or Microsoft cert versus a CompTIA cert. Again, CompTIA is a great vendor neutral cert, but I don't think it's the best thing for your career. If you want to make a lot of money, if you want to advance as fast as you can and be as valuable you can, as you can be to a company, get those vendor specific certs. You will thank me for it, I promise you. Well guys, that's about it. If you haven't already, subscribe. I post videos periodically, I try to be consistent, but you know, life gets in the way. Um, thanks so much for sticking with me. If you need some Cisco training resources, um, I list a lot of great resources on my website, networkchuck.com. 
put a link up here, link below. Now I know for a lot of you, INE may just be too much money for you to spend on a, a certification training. Totally get that. Very popular training option, and I actually posted on this the new CCNA study group I created on Facebook. I asked guys, hey, what's your favorite training source? Everyone said Udemy. If you don't know what Udemy is, it's a place where you can go and you can buy training for various topics pretty cheap. And the best training I've seen on there for, so far for CCNA is Chris Bryant's CCNA training course. So I'll put a link up here and a link below. It's worth it, guys. Check it out. It's not very expensive at all. So if you need some good training to get your feet wet, start getting your Cisco CCNA, this is it. Check it out. If you have any questions or comments or you need some help, let me know. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up in the comments below. I try to answer everyone. So if I, if I missed your comment, forgive me. I'm busy. I'm sorry. And uh, I know I said I would mention everybody who got their certifications or passed their certs. I'll do that here in the next coming videos. There's a lot of you guys. You, you, are, you guys are busting it out, getting your CCNA, getting your A+, getting your Linux+, knocking out your CCMP. Congrats to all you guys. Um, actually, I changed things up a bit. I kind of mentioned this on Twitter. I am changing gears from getting my CCMP, and I'm actually going for my CCNA collaboration. Uh, it's more beneficial for me right now. I always advise people you should always get the certification that's going to benefit you the most where you're at. Right now, that's what's going to help me the most right now, so I'm going through that. It's awesome. I love voice. And again, I mentioned we do have a CCNA study group on Facebook, so link below on that. We're already in there, we're already posting, we're all encouraging each other, so check that out as well. And if you want an awesome mug like this, and uh, actually a t-shirt, I'm not wearing it right now, but it says like show IP interface brief. If you love to rep your Cisco commands, check it out, I'll list it on my site. And uh, guys, that's about it. I so appreciate you watching and sticking with me. Uh, you guys are an encouragement to me. You help keep me motivated to get my certifications, and I hope I can do the same for you. Let's get certified together. Catch you guys next time.